Good morning, Aquarius. Good morning. How you doing, Aquarius? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you for joining me here at Just Be Tarot. My name is Miss Shelley, and we're going to get into a daily vibration for you for today, January 6, 2023. So only take the messages as they resonate, Aquarius, okay? This could be speaking about you or someone you are energetically connected to. Roles can be reversed, but five transposed. Um, all are welcome here. These are not gender-specific readings. Anyone with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Jupiter, there could be a word in this for you. I want to say thank you so much, Aquarius, for your likes, your subscribes, and shares. I truly appreciate it, okay, Aquarius? So let's get into this. Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors. Please provide clear and accurate messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter, Holy Spirit. I hope you guys have a really wonderful, auspicious, blessed, and safe day. It's the beginning of the weekend. I forgot. Yeah, today is Friday. Okay. Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So this is going to be the weekend review. Yeah, okay? This is going to be for the weekend. January 6th through the 8th for Aquarius. Holy Spirit. So we have mystery, wisdom, flexibility, beautiful energy, okay? And also at the bottom of the deck, we have discernment. <clears throat> All right. What I'm getting here with the mystery card, it says embrace the unknown. So this is that full moon energy is also high priestess. You're receiving some downloads. Um, and you may even feel a bit um drawn in okay so i want to say you may feel introverted luck is on your side with the black cat and i'm also getting protection from your guides okay your guides are protecting you keeping you and covering you as they always are but spirit is asking you to look um at something or recognize something about you or the people around you I do feel that you will be intro introverted, okay? And it's quite easy for an Aquarius to be. With the next card here being wisdom, let your light shine. But do you see the, um, the crown chakra is lit up? with this information that is coming through. It's, it's almost as though you can see it. You recognize it. You are um, looking within you or a situation or a person, and you're figuring something out. Now, for some of you, this is empathically. You are able to feel that something is going on. You're able to feel that something is amiss. For a lot of you, I feel this energy here that Spirit God Source may be asking you with this let your light shine, Aquarius. When it comes to other people, Spirit may be asking you to offer um, a helping hand or to listen um, in a more broader way as opposed to in a way that you already know. There's something about words and there's something about being wise enough to see the bigger picture and something is what I'm feeling. It's like the bigger picture is not about being stuck on the little details, but see how those little details work in the bigger scheme of things. It's something like that because Spirit is also asking you to stay flexible and adaptable to stretch your limits. Okay, so when we use these words, mystery, wisdom, flexibility, and then discernment, 
I feel spirit is guiding you, keeping you and covering you, but there's some kind of knowledge or some type of experience that you already have, but um, it may be coming up again. It's coming up for you to look at the big picture in something as opposed to just taking in the small details of something. Okay. Or it could be the reverse, right? Um, as opposed to just looking at the big picture of something, also take in the details, right? And also there's an energy here regarding how you see things with other people or how you speak the body language, the love language, what is really being um, interpreted with this, um, with this information that is coming in, okay, is what I feel. Now, this could be all about you, information coming in from your guides in regards to your dreams, your goals, your desires, your next steps, um, in regards to what you are capable of or what you're not capable of. And if that's the case, there's something about um, imposter syndrome here. So spirit is asking you to look at yourself in a bigger way. Challenge yourself to accept all of you, the little details and the bigger picture of yourself. Because you are unique, you are magical, you are wise, you are intelligent, you are air, and you are spiritually attuned as well, Aquarius. So everything that you need in the here and the now for this weekend, you already have in your two box. So don't be too hard on yourself, which creates a blockage for other people, for relationships or communications or peers or even your socialites, right? Even your friends, your love partner, your people, okay? It will create a block if you do that. Instead, embrace the mystery of who is you. Embrace the mystery of who is them. You know what I'm saying? By looking at it in a different particular way is what I'm getting. Because the answers, the wisdom, the vision, the third eye chakra, the love, the compassion, everything that you need is already here. And on top of all of this, you are protected. You are spiritually connected. Your ancestors have your back period. They're peeking through right here. They are. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are. You are lucky. You are magical. You are a magician. You have everything that you need and you require. The only thing the spirit is asking you basically to do is stay flexible and adaptable. And again, like I said, if you look at things from just the bigger view, look at the small uh, details as well so you can have an understanding. And if you're only looking at the small details, stay flexible enough to look at the bigger picture so that you can have a, a wiser understanding is what I'm getting here. Um, some of you are clairvoyant, uh, is what I'm getting. The chariot stayed, wanted to stay out, okay, when I switched decks. Um, I feel that some of you are clairvoyant, or you are clairaudient, or you are an empath, okay? But you are being directed and guided. Um, you're, you're ascending even more Aquarius as well. Some of you, um, your dreams, there's some type of astral travel or something mystical that is happening. Something quite mysterious, something quite esoteric is happening, okay? As Spirit is asking you to embrace it, you may have gotten this click, like, okay? I mean, it is the full moon, so... And it is cancer, okay? Um, so I am getting, with this flexibility, you want to stay balanced, okay? So let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, clarify the cards on the board for Aquarius regarding the weekend review, regarding the weekend vibration, January 6th through the 8th.
You know what weird? What's weird? When I said January 6th through the 8th, I said, what is going on with those numbers? The 6th through the 8th. So the 6th can be broken down into two threes, which is self-mastery. And the 8th can be broken down into two fours, which is foundations. And, you know, I am supported. I am protected. Right? But, you know, the 6th is also about support. It's about the gift from spirit God's source, in my opinion. And the eight is about manifestation, okay? So there's something also about those numbers, the six through the eight. This is going to be a very interesting weekend, all right? Yeah, the star, here you are. Here you are. You're mysterious. It's about you, Aquarius. It's about you. So for some of you, someone may be trying to figure you out. You may be introspective. You may want to be introspective, but you're getting the spotlight. The star can't hide, right? The star, the star is always in the sky. It's always going to shine bright. It's always going to be what it is. Um, it can be covered, It could be covered. It could be masked. Okay. It could be masked by um, precipitation, right? What is that? The clouds? Yeah, you're covered. You're covered and protected, Aquarius, okay? All right. So I feel spirit is saying, get out of your own way. Um if today you have miscommunication or if today you have an introspective energy where you don't really want to be bothered, but you want to go more within and figure things out, um, it's okay. All right. It's all right for you to do that. Um, also, there's an energy here where you may be looking into self in a way of... Um, your manifestations, okay? Spirit is saying, um, don't go into imposter syndrome. You're you're absolutely capable. You have every tool that you need in your toolbox, in the magician's um, hands. There's every single tool you need, okay? We do have the hermit energy along with the eight of pentacles, so um, for some of you, you're being asked to stay flexible and adaptable at work. You're also being told that it's okay for you to be introspective. It's all right. It's okay. Okay. Um, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. Okay. Um, that might be something that is coming up within you. Imposter syndrome is being so hard on oneself about mistakes. This beginning part of the, the weekend, I kind of feel this um, serious tone to you, but it isn't um, anything horrible. I just feel that you're, you know, being your natural born self. You're being a star. You are inquisitive. You are um, looking into things. You are doing your best work. Some of you, you do your best work when you're by yourself. Okay. But in some, some way, somehow, you're still going to be getting some type of attention. So even if you work home alone is what I'm feeling. Somebody's going to come knocking. Somebody's going to come calling. There's something that's going to come up to um, divert your attention. And what Spirit is saying here is to embrace it because there's something about you that is going to be able to help and prosper even in this, okay? That's what I'm getting because you're the researcher, you're the one who's communicating, and it's you're the one who's um, going to give victory to this. You're the one who's needed in this. It's like you're a component in this. And there's also this energy of um, healing and resting. So for some of you, a person... This could be um, a person who has been in and out of your life, inconsistent. It could be a child who is showing back up. It could be anybody. 
who's showing back up and you're going to be um, asked to put a helping hand in this and work on this, okay? But use your discernment. Um, there's something about having a solution for everyone involved, okay? You're going to be happy and everyone else is going to be happy. You're going to be happy and everybody else is going to be happy, all right? So do not get imposter syndrome and be hard on yourself and then you end up people pleasing or you end up giving too much of yourself. You end up not, um, you know, looking at all of the details and how you can work this out because there's some kind, it's almost like it's a puzzle. <clears throat> it's almost like it's a puzzle, okay? So you may literally be trying to figure something out for someone or somebody's. It could be at work. It could be in your relationships, romantic or non-romantic. It could be just within yourself regarding your own career, regarding your own endeavors, regarding your own investments, regarding your, um, you know, investments in money and physical and mental and financial and, you know, spiritual. Okay. Take it as it resonates. But I do feel for some of you, there's some type of tough conversation that's going to come up with somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while, okay? But you're going to like the way you are. If you use your discernment, stay flexible and adaptable, your wisdom is going to shine through and everybody's going to be happy. Everybody's going to be happy in the end. Oh, look at this. Give thanks. Fullness, give thanks. You see all of this um, rose quartz energy, and then we have safety. You are protected and prosperity, okay? So there's also this energy of a giver, okay? So I feel like whatever you give, you always get paid 100-fold, okay, Aquarius? So keep that in mind as well. Let's bring out one of these from the ancestors and just see. I feel like some of you are going to be really, really um, pleased with yourself by the um, tomorrow evening or into Sunday, okay? We have back to the basics here, and it states simplify, reduce, and center, okay? So again, hard work, labor, okay? And then we have at the bottom of the deck, open to love. So work hard, play hard is also what I'm getting here. Relationships, passion, and fulfillment. <clears throat> Relationships, passion, and fulfillment. I also feel this energy here that your guides are asking you to have a little fun, Aquarius. Okay? I also feel the energy here that you have a guide that is watching over you, keeping you, and covering you, and actually trying to get you out of this, um, this mood. Okay, I mean, we are talking about the weekend. All right. There's a guide here who is looking at you and saying, you don't have to be perfect all the time. You don't have to be hard on yourself all the time. You don't have to be, you know, um, fixated on one little thing all the time. Okay. And it's not all the time, but this weekend. All right. Yeah. Open yourself up to receive because you're going to receive something beautiful this weekend. Also, I can see it. You're going to receive something beautiful. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you smile. You may get an invitation. You may go to a concert. You may go to a karaoke. You may go to a bar. You may go to somewhere that there's music. OK. Um, you may hear from somebody, you may be invited to someone's home to, for a gathering, okay? Whatever it is, okay? Some of you, there's somebody in plain sight who really loves you and cares for you, Aquarius. Although they may act childish sometimes, they do care about you. Or roles could be reversed, but flop transpose. This is, could be how someone feels about you, Okay? So Spirit is asking me to get um, a card on this. Why is this here? Discernment and the Page of Swords. We have the King of Swords 
and the sun. <laughs> the king of swords and the sun. Simple solutions, happiness, restoration, balance, prosperity. Some of you are going to get some really good news. Maybe a child. The sun could talk about children, okay? Grandchildren, okay? It could even be your own inner child, all right? You're coming up with something, a simple solution, okay? But there's happiness, joy, restoration, okay? So the page of swords, air energy with the king of swords and the ace of swords. Simple solutions all around the board. You may be um, researching something as well. For some of you, you are going to hear about that job interview, congratulations, or the key to um, a home, congratulations. And remember, we saw the chariot, a key to a car, congratulations. This could even be a gift from someone, okay? Somebody could be paying a bill for you, congratulations, all right? There's some type of lucky happenstance that happens for you, Aquarius, with the king of swords and the sun here, okay? Absolutely. Now, Again, roles can be reversed for flop chance polls. Like I said, your good deeds are going to be paid back fold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, okay? A gazillion fold, but you are protected. You are good, all right? You don't have to be a, a perfect person. Just be the best you can be. That's it. I love you to life. Namaste.